Hey guys, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to install Ice Cream Sandwich on your AT&T Galaxy S2. And sorry if the video is a little um, out of focus sometimes, uh, or just grainy. I'm fil filming this on a Transformer Prime. Alright, so let's get started. So first I'll give you a quick look at uh, what the ROM looks like, uh, and then I'll show you how to install it. And this is based on the official international ROM for the um, Galaxy S2. And it's a full ICS experience. It's not any type of skin gingerbread like what we were seeing earlier with custom ROMs. This is full ice cream sandwich. Uh, it does have TouchWiz, but the uh, TouchWiz launcher has been replaced with Apex launcher. So I'll show you what that looks like. And then also, as you saw, uh, it has the CRT animation from Gingerbread, and then also you have the new lock screen where when you have a text message, you tap and pull outside of the ring, or just to unlock, you tap anywhere. And as I move my finger away, the lock opens. There you go. Okay, so I'll show you the about phone, and by the way, all the capacitive buttons work as they should. Home takes you home if you move away. Back takes you back. Search pulls up Google Search or long press for voice commands just like before and if I go to menu you get the ice cream sandwich style menu layout and we can go to system settings and you get the new ice cream sandwich categories for settings and I can just go to about phone and there you see model number i77 which is for AT&T and this ROM only works for AT&T by the way and uh, Android version 4.0.3 so ice cream sandwich um, and then also you can see the build number is Showstock 2 RC5. Uh, at the moment, this is the newest version of Showstock, but um, the dev is updating it so quickly that uh, there might be a much newer one when you're watching this video. Uh, but once I give you the download link, just go ahead and download uh, the newest one. There's only one download link, so you can't even pick uh, an older one. But I'm sure it'll work just fine, if not better, than what I'm running right now. There you go. We'll go home. Uh, next, I'll show you the Apex launcher, which is the uh, launcher that's on here right now. So here I have the uh, transition effect from Honeycomb. And that's just one of the many transitions that you get uh, with this launcher. Uh, you also get uh, page previews, like you did in TouchWiz or Sense or a bunch of other uh, manufacturer interfaces. Um, you get a ridiculous amount of settings if we go to Apex settings. Just for home screen settings, every type of transition, uh, scrolling speeds, how many uh, rows and columns you want, you can change that, cram a bunch of icons in or have it really spaced out. Um, you can have multiple docks. So basically, basically it's a stock um, ICS launcher with a bunch of different customizations and it's uh, from the market or now Play Store as Google likes to call it. So uh, I'm sure they'll only add more features as, as it gets updated. Uh, also it retains the old function uh, or the original function from Ice Cream Sandwich where you can drop folders in simply by dragging one icon on top of another just as easily pull it apart. Um, you also get a whole bunch of other, other settings if you hold down on an app you can say edit and that's actually how I change the icons to ICS because um, even though this has uh, the touch was launcher taken off uh, the icons of the apps themselves have been changed by Samsung for example the people app they call contacts and it has Samsung's icon so it's super easy to change it to the real ICS one down here by just holding down edit click the photo and you choose select photo from your gallery you just download the PNG file or the image file from Google or wherever you want okay also the notifications bar this is something not from uh, stock uh, ICS but rather a uh, um, show stock enhancement in this ROM is you have quick toggles up here uh, the there's more than what I have right here but this is just a few of them that I use, so I kept them on. You can do things like toggle, data, um, and you also get a clear app tray. 
and you also get updated Google apps uh, like the new Gmail. Uh, let's see what else you get. Um, the new calendar is in here, but it's skinned with Samsung's uh, own interface, so it looks very similar to Gingerbread. Um, let's see what other Google apps there are. Uh, oh, also the uh, Maps app has been updated to the new ICS interface along with navigation and a few others. Um, let's pinch back and go back to home. And also with Apex you get the stock ICS app tray with your nice side scrolling pages and you can either hit widgets up here or just scroll past your last app page and you get into your widgets and you can simply drag and drop right onto your home screen like that. Okay, and then also you get uh, true multitasking like an ICS. So if you long press the home button, you get all your recent apps that you can scroll through. And the ones that you want to get rid of, simply swipe off. And Samsung hasn't uh, messed with it at all except adding a task manager shortcut below it. Um, it's the exact same task, task manager that they added to Gingerbread. So anyone familiar with uh, the stock uh, Gingerbread ROM from Samsung will be completely familiar with that. The only complaint I have about this ROM is battery life. I don't know if it's Ice Cream Sandwich or uh, the combination of the kernel and ROM, but you will see a uh, hit on battery life. Okay, so the first thing you want to do to get this installed is follow the download link that I provided in the uh, description below. So just go ahead and follow that link, download it. It might be newer than RC5, which is what I have now, um, but any ROM that's on that link uh, will be just as good or better than this because it'll just be an updated version. So once you have that downloaded and download it from the phone itself, so it's immediately stored on your internal SD, go ahead and boot into recovery. So hold down, power up, down, or volume up, volume down, and power. Just hold those three together. And wait until you reboot into Clockwork Mod. And uh, you do have to be already rooted on Gingerbread for this to all work. So if you're not rooted yet, just go ahead and follow uh, the link in the description uh, to my uh, root tutorial which works on 2.3.6 which is the newest version uh, that you could be on. Okay so go ahead I hope you can read that but if not with the volume button scroll down and uh, select wipe data and factory reset wow that's really bad focus third one down and hit the power to select it. I'm not going to do it uh, because I'm not backed up so that would erase everything so once that finishes then Go up to install zip from SD, click that, and say choose zip from internal SD card. And then you'll scroll all the way down, see if I can get to it. Yeah. Download, select that, and there you'll have show stock 2 RC5 or the newer version if you have a newer one. And just go ahead and hit that. Scroll down to yes, install it. And it'll go through the whole update process for you automatically. You don't have to do anything after this. And it can take a little while, so don't worry, nothing's wrong.
there you go you're all set so once it says done scroll down to go back and hit power to select it and then hit reboot system now and that's it you should reboot and it should be all fine you'll have the new uh, boot animation for the Galaxy S2 also okay enjoy your guys new phone see ya